Welcome to Think Tank powered by Vodacom. It's been almost four months since the All Blacks won the World Cup final and it turns out that's not nearly enough time to wrap your head around the new Super Rugby format. That doesn't mean the tank hasn't tried though, right? <laughs> Look, it's not complex. Everyone says it's very, very hard, Yeah. but I am a prop, so I've got some crib notes. Okay, let's have it. What, what have you got? But it's, it's actually not that complex. Um, so obviously we've got three new sides. Uh, one is from is the Kings, because we, we couldn't make up our mind as to which five should play. Then we're chasing the filthy Luca, so we've got the Jaguars from, from, from Argentina and we've got the Sunwolves from Japan. So therefore it becomes a Super 18. Can't play each other, and SA refused to do so because of the travel, so we've broken it down to two conferences. We've got the Aussies and the Kiwis in one, and then we've got the South Africans in the other. And then there are four groups. So there's two groups in each conference, South Africa 1, South Africa 2, and then the Aussies and the Kiwis. Aussies and the Kiwis remain the same, five teams uh, in each group. Right. Ours changes, we have three South Africans plus the Sunwolves, three South Africans plus the Jaguars. So in a nutshell, that, that's what it becomes. Uh, where it gets slightly complex and ambiguous is that the South African sides do not play all the Kiwi sides or all the Australian sides. They choose one of them. That's obviously the focal point of why why it's an, an uneven tournament and why people are unhappy with the format. Right, so Africa 1 will only play all the Kiwi sides, for example, while Africa 2 will only play all the Australian sides. And you're exactly, yeah, and you're exactly right with that. So Africa 1, Cheetahs, Bulls, Stormers, and Sunwolves. Africa 2, Kings, Sharks, Lions, Jaguars. Um, and... The strength of the Jaguars versus the Sunwolves is obviously going to be a talking point. Sure. And the fact that you play the Aussies or the Kiwis, the Kiwis deem to be more to, to be more proficient. Right. So, so that's that's the problem child. Right. But then it does actually get quite simple as to from, from a South African perspective. It's the six five four principle. Six games. You play the three sides in your in your group, right. home and away, right. that's six games. Five games, you play either the Australians or the Kiwis. So that's five games, yep. and then four games, you play all of the four sides in the other South African conference. Out of that comes eight uh, quarter finalists, the four top teams in each group, yep. plus then the next best one out of the two African groups, yep. and the next best three out of the Australian New Zealand So three groups. from the Africa conference? In total. And five from the Australasian or Australian conference. Correct. Yep. With each group winner then hosting a quarterfinal, and then the other decided based on overall log points. Yeah. The good thing about that is that you've only got 15 league games, so it's been reduced from 16, so it's one less game on the calendar. The bad thing is that because you've got 15 league games, some teams have eight home games, some have seven. Correct. And also, the travel is slightly different. So, you know, Gary Gold's moaning about the Sharks travel, and perhaps rightfully so, because he's got to go to Argentina, and then he catches a couple of Kiwi sides. Uh, whereas in the other conference, uh, the Sunwolves, some, some of them play in Singapore, which is a hop, skip and a jump. Right. Um, plus then, you know, you might have a Perth instead of, uh, instead of Sydney. So your travel can be vastly different. But the big difference in travel is that you don't go on four or five week tours anymore. Yes. You hop across, play a game and come back. And that was apparently the big demand from South African players is that they, they don't mind going to Singapore or going to Argentina to play a game, but they don't want to go on a four or five week tour. Right. Okay, thanks. So maybe not as complicated as we first thought. Uh, if you guys want to know more about it, go check out the website. We've got a Super Rugby for Dummy section over there. Have a look and, and maybe get the final details nailed down. Uh, completely out of left field, a question from one of our viewers. Uh, he wanted to know who would be your choice for Bok Coach. They're supposed to name the guy at the end of March. Who would be your pick? Whoa, that might be a topic for a, for a full-blown think tank, I think. But uh, yeah, bottom line is I think they've painted themselves into a corner. There is no other option apart from Rossi Erasmus. Yeah. I think they'll go with Rossi with his, uh, with his unit, his maybe unit, coming in as his assistant. And I actually don't think that's so bad. Okay, well, you've heard it here from Tank on his Bok Coach and the Super Rugby format. Hit us up with your thoughts on that at hashtag ThinkTank, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Ciao.